welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you're new here, my name's Jazz. Nice to meet you. So I'm going to be showing you my current face routine. It's really simple, really fast, and pretty darn cheap. Most of the things that I use are drugstore brands and stuff. There's only a couple things that I use that I just have that are higher brand stuff, but could easily be duped for cheaper things. Um, this is like my current summertime routine, so it's not super full coverage, but just simple, easy, out the door. So I'm not going to be doing a full face, just the base, the foundation part of it. So let's like, get right into it. So I always start with a clean face, especially in the summertime. You sweat a lot. Um, you don't want to get any dirt and grime into your face any more than is necessary. So definitely I already washed my face. Um, I've been using this. This is actually by a local Columbus person. Under Aurora is the brand's name. I'm almost out of this stuff. But it's basically just a facial oil. It's got rosehip, carrot, jojoba, lavender, rosewood oil. So I've been using this as a moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer that you like for your skin tone, but this does wonders for my face. Um, you always want to moisturize right before you put on your makeup. I always make sure to put a lot of moisturizer right under my eyes because that will help them from getting all creasy and crepey looking throughout the day, the more moisture you have there. Also, drinking a lot of water helps with that too. So once I've got that on, if it's a normal day and I'm just putting this on to run to the store, I don't even use a primer. So I've been using this BB cream by Maybelline. It's called Dream BB Fresh. It's the pomegranate extract one. I know they have a different one too, but this is in shade 110. So I just squirt it onto my hand. I use a pretty good amount. And then I just rub it all over my face. So it's more like a tinted moisturizer. It's not going to give you super full coverage, as you can tell. But I'm going to show you how to make this a little more full coverage. So for starters, I usually put on two layers of this stuff. At least just on like the big parts of my cheeks that I know I want a little more coverage on because I have some redness there. So with the second layer, I just pat it on where I need it. And then I take my beauty sponge and go over it with that just to kind of smooth it out better than I can with my fingers. Okay, so already that looks better. The uh, thing I really like about this is that it, it has that dewy texture. So if I'm really in a rush, this is like the minimal amount that I will put on as far as foundation goes. But on a regular day, I will go in with some concealer. This is by Wet n Wild. It's their Photo Focus Concealer in the lightest shade. This stuff is awesome and it's very affordable. That's about all I'll do. And then come in with my beauty blender again and just blend it all out. I really feel like this concealer does not get enough attention. For being so full coverage, but so creamy and easy to blend, it's just the bomb. It's comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape, but not quite as dry as that. But it's way more affordable because it's wet and wild. And it's also cruelty free. And this tube has lasted me a while. I just really love this stuff. So this is where I get a little more full coverage out of this makeup, even though it's a BB cream. Um, I go in with this CoverGirl powder. This is the Professional Loose Powder. This is the shade 105, which I believe is the lightest. And it smells fantastic. It smells like baking or something, like cookies. I don't know. But it's just loose powder. It does have a little bit of color to it, so you definitely want to match the color to your skin tone. There's only like four or five colors to choose from, so since I'm pretty pale, I have the lightest one right now. I also own this in a darker shade for when I'm tanner, but super affordable. I'm just going to grab this really fluffy brush, and I like to dip it in and then dust off the excess into the lid because don't want too much on there although it's hard to avoid. Um, and then I just pat it on my whole face. So I set my under eye with this. 
I just give a nice coating to my entire face. A little tip if you have a lot of texture on your skin, it's always best to pat things into your skin rather than brush them around because that's just going to lift up your skin and your texture and make it look even more uneven, whereas patting it down will kind of flatten it out. So I always just do that because I have some texture on my skin. But now that I've got a nice layer of powder on there, I'm even more full coverage because this has some color to it. And then to get rid of this powdery look, I'm going to show you this little trick that I just learned, and it, it's pretty freaking good. So take whatever setting spray you have. I just have this Urban Decay All Nighter. I've somehow acquired a million bottles of this stuff, so I'm using it until it's gone. But any setting spray will work. You can use a cheaper kind, whatever you like. At this point, when you're done with your foundation, not like your blush, your contour, any of that, but just the foundation, and you put all this powder on, this is how you're going to get your skin looking shiny and dewy and more like skin and not like powder again. So spray this all over your face. I like to really coat it. Take your, your damp sponge and just go once over your entire face, patting it in. And there you go. Just kind of makes the powder sink into your skin a little better and look more like natural skin. And it also keeps it really like sweat proof, which is awesome. I also will go in when I'm finished with all my makeup and spray my face one more time, but this is just a way to make my foundation really like bulletproof and look really nice. It gives it a really nice finish. Okay, so to finish off my face, my base face, face base, um, I have this little sample size of Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I just go in with a little kabuki. When I'm pressed for time and I'm not going to contour, I'll just bronze. I like to use bronzer on my cheekbones, around my hairline, and under my jawline. Helps give me that sun-kissed look while also slightly contouring and sculpting my face. This bronzer is matte so it doesn't leave behind any shimmer or glitter, which makes it perfect for a more effortless contour-like effect. I always contour my nose, but sometimes I contour just with bronzer if that's all I'm using on my face and no contour. I'll just use that same shade to do my nose too. Okay, so that gives a little more life to my face. As far as blush goes, I've been using this Becca Cosmetics blush. I know this is a little pricey. It's the color Flower Child. I just think it's a really pretty, like, light pink summer color for my skin tone. I think it's really nice. But you can sub in any blush that you like, of course. I'm not, like, a huge, huge blush person just because I have redness to my skin already, especially in the summertime. I'm just going ahead and adding some more bronzer to the very outsides of my face just to blend it in with that blush a little more because I like a more bronzy look than a more blushy look, but that's just me. And last but not least, we go in with a highlight. Um, I'm going to be using Lunch Money by ColourPop. It's kind of got a golden tone to it and it's really creamy, so I just use my finger and pat it right on. I'm going to finish it off with another spritz of my setting spray and then I'm good to go. Alright guys, that's about it for my base of my face. Um, my everyday go-to summer face right now. Pretty simple, pretty low-key, but I think it gives a pretty like flawless looking complexion without a whole lot of work involved. Um, really that powder and the setting spray trick is, is really what's doing it for me. And then you don't have to contour and all that in the summer, just bronze yourself up and put a little glow on and you're good to go. So yeah, this is what I've been doing every day. 
obviously I don't have any brows or eyes on, but I'm trying to keep my video shorter, so here we go. This is the end. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.